Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. What qualifications do you have to make yourself an expert in your industry? Today's video, I'm talking about qualifications. Do you have a biography? If you go to our website, titlerate.com, there's a, a tab on there that talks about uh, bio to meet the, the owner of the company, and then there's a biography there. Do you have a professional biography or a professional resume or some type of bio sheet that can explain to people why you are the best at what you do? It's very, very important, especially if you're a realtor or you're a mortgage person, when you're helping people navigate their largest financial investment of their life, you need to be able to tell them what sets you apart from others. So we have a sheet that we talk about our qualifications. And the first thing I always talk about is what is my position with the company? If you're a realtor, then you're a realtor. If you're a broker, then you're a real estate broker. Maybe you're a broker associate. Maybe you're a licensed mortgage lender, a licensed mortgage broker. You need to explain to people what is your qualification and your position with the company. In my case, I'm the founder and CEO of Independence Title. And then we further talk about what are you licensed? Are you a licensed realtor? Are you a licensed real estate agent? Maybe you're not a member of the Realtor Association. Uh, maybe you're a licensed mortgage broker. Here at Independence Title, I always love to tell people, I'm not an attorney. I'm what's called a licensed title agent. I have a 410 license with the state of Florida in order to sign and issue what's called a title insurance policy. It's very, very important. When it comes to an attorney, we're able to outsource and bring in our trusted attorneys, as we've talked about in previous videos, that can help with something specific in the industry, a probate attorney, a contract dispute attorney, but enough about them, let's get back to you. So then we wanna talk about what are some unique qualifications that you have? Well, in my case, I've been a licensed title agent. I've been in this business for 15 years. One of the things I like to tell people is I'm an author. I've written three books. One was an amazon.com best-selling book. What does that mean? Well, that means I'm an expert in my industry and I'm able to talk about my industry on videos like this. I'm able to talk at events and explain to people about title insurance. We have a funny joke in the industry when we call other title companies and we talk about a marked up title commitment, which we've done a video on, and people, even in the industry, are so confused. Well, I don't even know what a marked up title commitment is. You need to have an understanding of your business. So you can say all of the qualifications that you may have. I know realtors, you have all of these designations that you can take with your uh, realtor association that set you apart from everyone else different types of qualifications for different people. If you're in the mortgage business, if you're an investor, maybe you're certified in short sales or foreclosures. Maybe you're certified in buyer representation, seller representation. You need to know what you're good at in order to tell the client, how can I best assist you? And then what I like to do is I tell people, how many years have you been doing this business? I wanna know, how many years have you been in the business? I've been in the business since 2001 I started. I opened my first title company in 2003. So I wanna know how long have you been in this business? How many years do you have under your belt? If you are just newly licensed, I may think twice about listing my largest asset with you or maybe looking to buy a house or maybe getting a loan from you, letting you handle my loan. Not to say that new people aren't good, but I always wanna see how long have you been doing this business? Is it part-time or is it full-time? I'm here to tell you, my business, I've been doing this a long time, although I don't look it, but I'm a full-time expert in my industry. One of the things I like to tell people is I'm a land trust expert. I am one of the only title companies that can sit down and explain to you from a title insurance perspective, the benefits of using a land trust, where a lot of title companies tell you they won't even close in a land trust. They don't understand land trusts. They're scared of land trusts. I'm here to tell you that we're an expert in land trusts. We can explain to you how you can facilitate a closing using a land trust. Now, I'm not giving you legal advice or tax advice. You have to ask your trust attorney or estate planning attorney for that, or your CPA talking about accounting advice. But I'm here to tell you when it comes to a real estate closing, I can explain that to you. That's one of my qualifications that I've been doing for many, many, many years, which sets me apart from somebody else. And last, I want to talk about are your statistics. I do not have a problem telling people how many closings we have done in the course of our years in business. How many closings did we do last month? How many closings did we do year over year? I love sharing that information because that's part of what gives me the ability 
to look into the future and see maybe where the, the business is going to be going. I'm not ashamed to tell you how many closings we've done. You shouldn't be either. You should be able to give statistics on how many closings you've seen. If they're not your statistics, maybe give statistics from your realtor association about how many listings there are, how many closings there were, how many buyers, sellers, foreclosures, short sales, how many loans were done, where have the interest rates been statistically. Some type of statistics to your clients. So you may not close a lot of deals, great. So don't use that as a statistic, but you wanna make sure you have some type of statistical data in order to share to the customer. So when they say, how's business? You say, business is great. We closed over 1,100 deals in 2017. We're up X percent year over year. We've closed over 6,300 deals since the history of being in business. You need to know those numbers and know how to share those numbers with people that you're looking to trust you with their number one asset, usually the purchase or sale of their home. So I hope you learned something new today, talking about your qualifications, maybe a little bit about you and how you can share to your client to make you stand out from your competition. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe below. Maybe share this video on Facebook. We like to get as many shares as possible because if I can help you succeed, I'll succeed. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.